Ah, good day to everybody. Uh, the question is, is this contraption golf's secret weapon? Let's find out. All right, thanks for stopping by everybody. I know you're, you're probably wondering what, what is this? And I was too, I saw this online and uh, I bought it. So I've got it, made a rubber and uh, it's a little grip thing. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below where you can get this on Amazon. I, I get nothing. I mean, no one's paying me. I didn't get anything. I just saw it. So I thought I'd be, I was intrigued. So I thought you might be intrigued. So this thing is for your grip. All right. I don't do a lot of videos talking about the grip. Why not? Because everybody's grip is different. There's no one answer for every solution uh, or for everybody. You know, it's everybody's a little different, but there are certain things in the grip that you want to be able to do and you want to make sure you don't do. So this thing, okay, this little rubber guy, it goes on your club right here. And uh, I've messed around with it because I was using it upside down and backwards, typical for uh, the products I get. So you slide it right up in there, okay? And then it's for your right hand if you're right-handed. And you, you just put it right there, okay? Right in there, see that? Right there. Okay? And you just make sure that the V, it's got a little V in the thing, okay? You can see that? All right? That wants to go straight up your sternum here. And then your right hand goes on the club and you're good to go. What the theory uh, with this is, okay, without it, and I do this all the time if you look at my swing. Uh, without it, you have a tendency to squeeze too hard with your thumb and forefinger. So you squeeze down on it and what does that do in your golf swing? We're gonna start here in the short game area. If you're squeezing too tight, you know, you're, you're leading your wrist down and uh, I do that all the time, especially if, if you see my swing, I go like this a lot, okay? It's because I'm engaging that thumb and forefinger. That's one of the things that I do. It's just, you know, something that it's hard to get, hard to get rid of. So that's why, that's what interested me about this. Put this on. Now, why am I here as opposed to out making full swing somewhere? Because anytime, okay, anytime you change your grip, anytime, Okay, how many times? Anytime. You change your grip, start in the short game area. Don't just start whacking drivers right when you try something new because it's not gonna work and you're gonna get frustrated and you say, ah, it didn't work. And then you say, forget it. And no, it's just because you didn't do it right. All right, so practice your grip. I'm gonna put this on here and it's supposed to take the pressure off of your thumb and forefinger on the club. You're supposed to grip really typically with the three fingers of your you know, dominant hand here. Then that either interlocks or overlaps. I'm an overlap guy. And then you wanna grip with these three fingers on your right hand, the pinky and the next two. And then the thumb and forefinger should be not off the club, but they should be the lightest fingers on the club. So this thing takes your thumb and forefinger off the club so you're not squeezing the club, it's off the club. And you get used to the feeling of having them off the club. So I've had it on the club, I haven't really done anything with it. So I'm gonna practice it here, get a feel for what's, what the, oh boy, that feels weird. Really strange for me, because I'm a gripper of that club with that right hand. Whew. Okay, just wanna get used to the feeling let me work some short shots. That's nice, actually. It's so I have to use my left hand more, pulling because I I have a tendency to get that right hand working on it. I guess it does flip off sometimes. So try not to get it too far underneath or too far over here. Those are bad. That right hand grip is more important than you think. But you want to hear? You want to just? Pointing at the right shoulder, okay? Right there. Good. I'm just gonna mess around, go to the short one. Then maybe go to the medium one. You gotta slowly work up to it. Hit the flag, I guess that's a good thing. Okay, 
So I'm gonna keep messing around here in the short game area. We'll see if this is golf's secret weapon, at least for you know the average player. All right, let's see how this sucker works out of the bunker. You know, put it on my here. You, the one thing you don't want out of the bunker is your right hand getting too involved. Ooh. I was a little hesitant there, but not bad. Not bad at all. Oh man, that was too high and soft. That was nice. I'll tell you, I really feel like I have to start with that left hand, which is what you want. Like, I start with, I'm a right hand starter. I get that right hand going and you don't want that. You want body and left hand, if anything. Woo, almost hold that in, it felt good. Okay, it's good work. I mean, I just feel like my thumb and first finger are off the club. I have no stake in this product at all. Oh, that was, that's gonna go in. Ooh, almost. <laughs> that's, that was pretty good. Okay, uh, let's go hit some, a little bit farther shots with this thing. We're gonna build up to the driver, see what happens. Let's go. All right, here we go. 100 yard shot straight away at the flag. Same number of balls, same everything. Six balls. Uh, I've got a 54 degree wedge. So I'm gonna go with that. That's what I would hit here. Um, and then I'm just gonna put this where it goes on the club. So my first full swings with this, woo. It, it feels different, at least for me. I mean, it goes very much against what I typically do, which I like that. Okay, everything's good, everything's set up. I'm a little nervous, but we should uh, trust in everything. Here we go. Oh, that felt different. That felt really good. Nice little draw, pin high. Ooh, nice action on that. It's gonna take a minute to get used to on the full swings, but I don't hate the feeling. Certainly with a short game, that was another level of feeling, and I really like that because I like to lead with that left hand in there, that John Daly style. The full swing, at least with the wedge, uh, it's gonna take a minute, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Let's go longer. So now we have 190 yards. We're gonna tee this guy up. Five iron, 190. Okay, I totally fatted it, all right. It feels so weird that I, you know, I want to say, ah, forget it, it didn't work. But like I said earlier, you got to give things a chance. Hit it solid, it's just high and way right. Okay. That was a 10 out of 10, going right at the flag. Just in case you're wondering, those last two were right here. Pretty long hole, it's into the wind, it's not easy. Um, yeah, those are pretty good. All right, so um, driver now, quit messing around. All right, here we go. I'm nervous, I don't wanna lose all my golf balls, but we've gotta do it. We've gotta put the thingamabob I don't even know what it's called, to the test with the big dog. Here we go. Anytime I mess with my grip with my driver, I miss way high right. Like I'm talking house on the right, far right. We'll see, all right. All 
All right, take it off now for the last one and see how my swing does. And we'll wrap this, up. oh, that, again, it feels even more weird, again, without it, but here we go. Oh, that was my best drive. Felt strange without my thumb and, my thumb and forefinger were definitely hanging off the driver a lot back there. At least it felt like it was, and I peered that one. Good news. I found four out of five of those. So they weren't as horrid as I thought they were. And the longest one to tie between one I had with the thumb rubber thing and my last one, straight over here, my second to last one is over there. That was with the rubber thing on. Those were my two good ones. That one and that one. Were, I hit this one good. It's just, I thought it was too far right, but it wasn't. My, but it was tied with my best one without, without the um, thing on. So that was good. And I got four out of five back. Mr. Short came four, the bush is one. So uh, is this a game changer or not? Golf is a crazy game. Look at this little rubber nubber thing or bob, whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called. I'll leave a link in the description below for this thing. Here's my summation with this little dude, which I think is pretty cool. On the short game, out of the bunker, around the greens, I hit a number of shots with this. And with it on, wow, I mean, I am using the left hand, which I want to use that a lot in the short game. So that I love it for. With the full swing, it's going to take a while. I would use it on the range as practice and then just go to the course. I wouldn't use it on the course. I mean, you can't really use this anyways on the course, but for practice you can, and I would use it at the range, get used to it, but for sure, if you want to improve your short game, this little bad boy I think is a game changer for that. For the other stuff, I'm not so sure. I'm not sold out yet, but immediately when I put it to the test with shorter shots, forget it. It really helped. So for that, I love it. So uh, anyways, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to be super cool, hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Love you guys. See you next video.